Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel and welcome to getting the most out of your thickening conditioner. And I don't just mean how much is left in the bottom of the bottle when you've got an awkward top. I literally mean how you can get the most out of your thickening conditioner and getting those thickening properties working the best for you so you can have the thickest possible hair when you are using your thickening conditioner. Now, as of lately, I have been using several different thickening conditioners. Let's just run through them very, very quickly. So I have been using the Hask Biotin Boost Thickening Conditioner, the Philip Kingsley Bodybuilding Conditioner, which is for making hair thicker and fuller. And then I have been using the Creighton's Professional Bam Beautiful Thickening Conditioner. And then my ultimate favorite by L'Oreal Professional Cirox Range is the, this is slightly different. So this is for noticeably thinning hair and it's part of a system. So it's bodifying thickening conditioner. It's for thinning hair, but you can certainly use it as prevention. Um, and I use this and it's my absolute favorite. I haven't got much left as you can probably tell from the container, but this lasts and lasts and lasts. And it's my absolute favorite. But as you can see, I have been using a lot of all different thickening products. And because I like to review products, I like to have the thickest possible hair, but what I do notice is that you would be surprised by the amount of thickening conditioners which I have purchased and once I've used them through very quickly, for example if I've been in a rush or if I've jumped into the shower or the bath and I've wanted to be on my way quickly or I've been in the middle of something and I've just thought I would dive quickly in the bathroom. I'm saying that, but to be quite honest with you, if you were to know me personally, um, I'm not getting anywhere very quick at the moment with the health problems and things I've got my leg and my groin I'm having some problems with. So that's a bit of a stretch of the truth. But when I make my way into the bathroom and I leave, sometimes I haven't always got, number one, the patience, let's be honest, to take so much time over my hair. And then again, I might just want to do it very, very quickly. I might want to not bother too much with the amount of conditioner and the different things, what you have to do if you've got coloured hair, if you've got fine hair. And it might just be that I'm in the middle of something, could be work, could be studying, could be working later, or it could be family commitments and things going on. We all have very busy, full on lives. So sometimes the last thing you want to be doing is spend lots of time with your hair. Some days, fantastic. I love doing that. Other times, we haven't necessarily got the time allowance to us. So this is where it came to my thought actually this morning, where recently I have been trying some different thickening conditioners. Now, this is something which I found that if you do not take your time with certain thickening conditioners, and I haven't really got a rule set in stone for this, but I think personally what I would suggest is if you have bought a thickening range for yourself and you've loved the shampoo and then you've gone to use the conditioner or vice versa and you've left it in for a very short amount of time and then you have seen no difference in your hair whatsoever or you've come to dry your hair and if anything your hair feels finer and flatter which can happen some volumizing conditioners can be very very heavy can be quite cakey so they coat the hair and they make the hair feel as though it's quite gungy and it's flat on the scalp what you're ultimately trying to create if you've got finer texture extra hair if you're looking for volume is that lightweight volume in that feeling of the hair lifted away from the scalp so hair ultimately lifted that light texture so you want products which are light and not necessarily full-on heavy creamy based products but here's something which I tried when you use any conditioner literally slow down the whole process and when I say that, I mean, of course, shampoo your hair with whatever shampoo you're using. But it's vitally important, I believe, in my experience, is if you've got fine textured hair to use a system which is catered for fine hair, which is going to help you create texture. It's going to help you create body lift and it's going to help you create that illusion of thicker, fuller hair and ultimately give you the perfect scalp environment. And the cuticle is going to be looked after and creating it more plumped, more full, and it's going to look much more better if you have got finer textured hair. Of course, it's all about what style you're trying to create as well. Your perfect friend after that is going to be the matching conditioner. Of course, it's great to use a system, but of course, thinking about money, some of these conditioners and things can be quite expensive. So if you can't and ultimately you've just got one product and then, for example, you try that, then you actually may buy another product from the range. That's absolutely fine absolutely fine nobody in their right mind would say that that was wrong if they do it's just basically because they're trying to make money in my opinion but in terms of using something what i would always suggest now i've i've found this to be quite honest with you i found this if you literally have a couple of seconds of the conditioner in your hair and then you leave and you're going to find that it's going to create all that thickening that full that fullness in the hair not going to work at all slow the process right down if that has not worked for you literally leave the thickening conditioner or the 
or the, the volumizing or for fullness, whatever, whatever it is. All of these which I've showed you, so the Bound Beautiful Conditioner, the Biotin, Hask, Thicker, the Philip Kingsley, and ultimately my favourite, all of these I will absolutely categorically tell you that I have had to leave them in my hair for longer than what it states on the packaging. Yes, it gives you a little bit of an effect. Does it create thicker, fuller hair? I would say, hands down, if you are looking to create thicker hair or if you are trying to help yourself in getting a better style through having more texture, more sort of resistance in the hair and that ultimate sort of foundation so you can go on and blow dry your hair and create styles like mine, literally slow the process down. That's my ultimate tip. Because most of the products I buy in terms of thickening, volumizing conditioners, it just does not work in the time which it states. Two, three minutes is just not long enough. Sometimes just a short time is literally 10 minutes. Shampoo your hair. I shampoo my hair twice. Once to get all the product build up out in the evening and then again straight after because then the effects in the shampoo or the ingredients in the shampoo. It's then got the time to work on my scalp. So remember the first one removes all the product. The second one that then is going to work on your hair and your scalp with the ingredients in there. I've always shampooed my hair twice. In the morning, I shampoo my hair first of all. That's literally through your hair, your scalp's been breathing, so there of course oils are being created, so you're removing that all from your hair. And then the second time, then you are getting the ingredients in your shampoo working on your scalp and your hair. I find particularly important if it's a stimulating uh, shampoo for perhaps hair thinning. Prevention, remember, is always better than cure. Or if you're trying to create that ultimate fullness, so you've got that perfect canvas for you to then go on and create that nice full style. A little bit of a tip there for you as well. But then literally, after you've shampooed your hair, put your conditioner in and leave it in for around 10 minutes because ultimately what that's going to do is the ingredients in the conditioner whether how much you pay it could be hundreds it could just be 50 pence i absolutely guarantee you that you will have a better effect with leaving the conditioner and you know what if you're going to pay out for these products don't skimp use a little bit more on your hair if you're going for a day, uh, let's say, for example, if you're you're wanting your hair to look absolutely amazing or if you're going for an interview or something where you want you want you want that confidence, you want that, that to stand out, particularly with your hair. Taking the time is really, really, really going to have a much more of a beneficial effect because using that little bit more, you're going to absolutely cover the hair and the scalp. I don't mean use tons because then you're going to have a counterintuitive effect where then sometimes you might not necessarily wash all the conditioner out and it's going to sit really, really heavy on your head. I mean making sure that you use enough to cover the hair. Don't be silly. I do it sometimes and you end up with heavier hair. It sits quite flat and quite lank. Literally use a little bit more than what you would normally use. Then literally make sure your whole hair is covered and your scalp is covered and leave it for a little bit longer. I guarantee you the effect what you will have afterwards because the ingredients will have time to almost swell like a sponge in your hair. If you imagine a sponge and it takes the water in, you can imagine, can't you? And it literally just doubles in size. Now, I'm not going to say it's going to do that to your hair, but literally it will give you a much more better effect and it will make that thickening conditioner work much, much more better for you. Literally running through this here, 20 pounds, Philip Kingsley body What's it? Bodybuilding shampoo for fine flat hair. If I use it for a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds, it's OK. If I use it for 10 minutes, sometimes a little bit longer if I'm doing other things in the bathroom. Um, don't forget, of course, nowadays, uh, nowadays our, our regimes which we do, for example, shaving, for example, doing your teeth. I'm an avid one for my teeth. Literally, I take that long over my teeth. It's incredible. They've got to be as white as white can be. Come back to your hair and literally you will see the difference. It turns from a five star product to a 10 star product in that extra time which you allow for yourself. Let's move on. My favorite L'Oreal Professional Cerioxyl is a gel based formula. So if I use it for just a couple of minutes, it does actually make my hair feel thicker, but quite rough, not smooth at all. If I leave it a lot longer, it makes my hair feel moisturized, Straight away, the texture is incredible. It's like slippery almost, but it gives that sounds awful, doesn't it? But it almost makes the hair feel really ultra moisturized, but really full and texturized as well. And that's when it's wet. So you can feel that it's kind of almost like started to swell the hair up ever so slightly. I don't mean hugely, but slightly. Then when you come to dry it, you will notice the effect straight away. Again, let's move on. Hask Biotin. This, when I first used this, I thought to myself, hmm, I've just paid that money out for. And let's be honest, most hair care products nowadays are not necessarily cheap. 
if you invest in the whole range for yourself, the last thing you want to be doing is either number one, skimping on the product, and number two, not giving yourself enough time to see the true benefits. What I'm trying to say is all of these products, this one, for example, the Bam Beautiful, I've had this for just over a week now. Categorically, it is by far double the effect better if you leave it on for that little bit longer. That's what I'm trying to say. So it's really important. Sometimes, of course, we haven't always got the time. But then just note that. Note that you're not going to be able to then just jump straight in and find that you're going to be able to style your hair absolutely how you want it to be with a huge lift, body, volume, texture, you name it, what you want. You've just got to allow that bit of time. For me, I just get up that bit earlier. Five. <laughs> and then you've got that time. Let's be honest. So it's, that's just me, though, being quite honest with you. I have to admit, it takes me quite a while. It really does. But that's just me sharing that. Then moving on after that, what I always find, if you've left that conditioner in your hair a bit longer, what it does, especially what's great as well, if you can afford to use the, the shampoo in the same range, is once you've shampooed with that product at that range the conditioner then has something to bond on it matches and you do feel that in your hair and then afterwards when you come to blow dry your hair my number one tip and it's absolutely a life changer for somebody with fine textured hair blow dry your hair in the opposite direction of how you're wearing it so today my hair is off to this side so i dried my hair off this side because what you're doing is you're going against the grain of the hair and the way the hair grows so you're naturally going to give your hair much more lift because in a way you're being you're being counterintuitive and you're pushing it the opposite direction. So then when you bring it back over, it's got to go against the way you've dried it. So then it stands up more naturally. Sounds simple, but it makes a huge, huge difference when you come to do your hair. So, for example, literally making your conditioner work, your thickening conditioner work much more better for you. Allow yourself time. Don't skimp. And then you will see the difference when you come to dry your hair hugely categorically that is just a few tips which i wanted to share i found that in literally the last couple of weeks since i've been trying these products which we've gone through here and let's be honest if i think back the products which i've bought and i haven't actually allowed myself time i do think now if i'd allowed myself just a little bit more time to explore with them or to have used them or to have just let them sit on my scalp and my hair a little bit longer i wonder if they would have actually have been amazing products Food for thought, possibly. Anyway, thank you very much indeed for watching my clip. And until next time, we will see you then. So always give yourself a couple more minutes with that thickening conditioner. And I absolutely categorically confirm that you will enjoy much more benefits from that conditioner or that range which you've just bought. Um, and let me know. Let me know. Let me know in the comments down below if you're watching this. OK, thanks very much for watching. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye now.